they built the first one in, I think it was about 1987, they built the first one, Prototype 1. And it would really, if you look at Prototype 1, it's, it's, it is this, except, except for the cab. Yeah. But it was intended to be a much lighter thing. So I don't know whether you know the story, but uh, Lord Bamford, he was Anthony Bamford at the time, but he had the idea of addressing the needs of the transport market for agriculture. Mm. So he came up with this relatively lightweight, high speed thing, which is where Dave Brown, the chief engineer of the time, started. And it should have been about four and a half ton machine with a 125 horsepower engine, which is pretty much what this has got. But it, they learned that it could plough quite well, actually. It right. wasn't really intended to be a mainline ploughing tractor. But they tried it. So they it? weren't thinking all rounder at that stage. No, thinking, not really. Well, let's solve the transport. No, issue. Not, not really. It was meant to be a transport thing, and it was meant to say weigh about four and a half tons and be able to cope with about a thirteen-ton trailer, yeah. which was typical of the UK market at the time. Bearing in mind the average tractor late eighties was about ninety horsepower, so this was already quite a, a big, powerful tractor for the market. Yeah. But when they learned it could plough then that sort of led to a lot more things. So they had to increase the rear lift capacity, yeah. increase the strength of the axles, ended up with a turbo engine as well. So there's a lot of, a lot of stuff came as a result of that.